Hey guys, what's up? It's Bonk here with ProGamey.com, and we're here at PAX Prime 2011, and we're here checking out Battlefield 3. With us, we have Kevin O'Leary, who is one of the brand, or you're the brand manager, is that right? Yeah. So, what are you guys showing out here at PAX? Uh, we got a couple different things going on. Here in the booth behind me, besides this kick-ass Hummer, uh, we have PlayStation 3 on co-op. Um, so we're, we're co-op on PlayStation 3. So when people get a hands on with that for the first time here in the States. And then upstairs in the lounge, the BYOC lounge, we have uh, 24 custom machines built by NVIDIA showing Team Deathmatch on PC. Awesome. Now, could you tell me a little bit for the competitive gamers out there, you know, about the battle log system you were telling me a little bit about earlier? So Battlelog is a really cool interface. It's on all platforms, but specifically on PC, it opens up a lot of windows, and you're able to do everything from, you know, just chat with your friends, like in and out of game, using a, a VoIP client, but also go all the way on the competitive side, set up um, legit matches. There's also APIs we have that will be in the game, so if you're working with any, like, ESL, MLG, any of those groups, uh, they're going to be able to pull data automatically, so there's no, like, screen caps of oh, games yeah. anymore. Scores are automatically sent and verified. The players are verified, all that stuff, so... It's everything in between, and what we really want to do is just connect players and keep them connected. So the forums are in one spot. You know, you can buy expansion packs as things come out there. Uh, you're gonna be able to talk with all your friends. You're gonna find friends, connect the rooms, social network. So it's a good, it's good stuff. That's awesome. So now, could you tell me a little bit about how many maps you're planning on launching with, and like what kind of what kind of scale we're talking about? Because I mean, like with all the vehicles and things like that, you know, you gotta have big, huge maps and things. Could you elaborate on that a little bit for me? Um, I'm not entirely sure if we release the final number of maps yet, but the good thing is each map is one of my favorite things. Each map is playable in every mode. So whether you want to play the four-on-four, -four, you know, squad rush, the super small type mode, or you want to play 64 players on Conquest, you're able to do it. And the cool thing is a lot of times you won't notice it's the same map because uh, you'll play in a different section when it's small. But on a big map, you're looking at the bigger picture. And we build these massive environments, and obviously, depending on what you're playing on, we make sure that it's a good environment. We limit you to staying in an area that's fun. Otherwise, you could just run out from the hills for forever. Cool. Now, could you also tell me a little bit about the class system and as well as, like, the different things you could do with, like, the weapons and upgrades and things like that? I mean, the depth in this game is unbelievable and amazing. I mean, it's, it's going to be hundreds of hours to get full unlocks. You know, for the completionists out there, I'm sorry. Your life's pretty much over when this game comes out. Not if you're that hardcore. But on the flip side, it's really easy to get into. Uh, we offer four different classes. It's always been a class-based system in Battlefield. So we've tweaked all of them a little bit. Kind of a top line assault is now a combat medic. They have the med and the defib kit. Engineer is still master and destroyer of all things vehicles. Repair them, shoot them down with RPGs. Support class, kind of making a return. Big guy, big gun, lots of bullets. But the cool thing with him is you can actually mount weapons using a bipod onto any stable surface, whether you're prone, kneeling, or standing. Yeah. My favorite is put on top of a car hood and just mow people down. It increases your range and accuracy, but it limits your uh, scope, I guess, of how far you can turn and shoot. Okay. And then recon, so with prone, obviously big advantage for snipers to get down. We've added a little bit of weapon glint. So if you're being targeted from afar by a sniper, you're going to see a little flash every now and then from their weapon, right. knowing that they're probably putting a beat on your head. Okay. I'm super excited for this <laughs> game, man. Um, next, I want to ask about the... I know you guys are going heads up with Modern Warfare 3. And from your point of view, how much better do you think Battlefield will be? I mean, they're both great games at the end of the day, and it's about preference of choice. We are the only game to offer all-out warfare. Uh, we have a crazy amount of vehicles in the game, obviously lots of customization, but one of the big differences is the team play as well. Being able to work in your squad, communicate with everyone else, set things up, play those classes, and like change the way. Like If you want to be, as a squad, a fast attack squad, you know, do three assault guys and an engineer. But if you want to play like more strategic and support, play two support guys, a recon, and an engineer, something like that. So. The options that we offer to players we feel like really sets us apart, but it's really the all-out warfare. It's destruction, all that powered by Frostbite 2, the vehicles, the team play, the incredible maps, the scale. You know, it's, it's only found in Battlefield. Awesome. Now, lastly, would you tell me where can gamers go to find more information out and, like, keep up to date with Battlefield and uh, a release date as well? Nice and easy URL, battlefield.com. Um, great place, one-stop shop. You can go to our YouTube from there. You can get all the videos. You can see the latest news. You can see our blog where we do weekly posts, battle blog. It's kind of cool. We do in-depth looks with uh, developers that are either you know building, uh, designing, artists, different things like that. So there's a lot of good stuff on that page. 
Cool. And a release date is October 25th, right? Yep. It's, a, it's not behind me, but yeah, we thought it was. So okay. yeah, 10, 25, 11, so only a couple more months. Super excited. Kevin, thanks again. I really appreciate it. Now, for more PAX Prime coverage, make sure to stay locked right here on ProGaming.com.